Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Duns and Dragons, and I want to talk about a Duns and Dragons product that I did not, a series of products that I did not know existed, and how I experienced them. So I was recently uh, invited by a friend to Harrisburg, and I spent the weekend in Harrisburg. It was a really wonderful weekend, and I went to a Harrisburg bookstore, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania, and I really had never spent much time in it. I can tell you right now, it is a booming, wealthy, prosperous uh, metropolis in um, in the middle of Pennsylvania, it, you know, in, in the urban areas, actually, I'm sorry, in the rural areas of, um, of Pennsylvania. It was a very nice trip, and I really had a great time, and actually, like, the entire... Uh, weekend was spent only in bookstores, and and that's a big deal for me. Um, I, 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 it's it's funny. I love to visit bookstores every time I go to a new uh, city, but I generally don't if I'm traveling with my wife. And the reason why is, you know, I spend two hours in a bookstore, three hours uh, sometimes. I'll just look at every shelf, and so it's kind of a bummer for her. So my friend invited me and said, hey, we got a ton of bookstores in um, in Harrisburg. And so I spent literally the entire weekend just looking at bookstores. But what really blew me away was, well, I, there, there were many events that happened. This is just one, but I'm going to share it with you. So one of these bookstores had a very, like, a three tables, this three table display of just D&D product, right? Which is pretty cool. I was really excited to see that the brand new Planescape was there. But I saw a new product I have never, ever seen before that I literally did not know existed. And it's a true Dungeons & Dragons product, right? So what was it? So first of all, it was official Dungeons & Dragons, right? A lot of, a lot of OSR and indie um, junk because they can't get their own energy and momentum will say, oh, this is a D&D product. If it don't have the red ampersand, it ain't a D&D product. This is a for real seat D&D product from Hasbro. Hasbro d and So I was extremely excited to see this. And it was a series of, of products. And what it was, was it was metal tins with class-specific tokens, right? Now, if you don't know, um, Dungeons & Dragons for a while, official Dungeons & Dragons, red ampersand number Dungeons & Dragons. And that, that's what tells you official. If it, if it don't have the red ampersand on it, it's not really official. There is one exception to that right now, and that is Tal'Dorei Reborn. Right? And I don't think that book has the red ampersand on it, but it has official. It has, it has become official D and D canon. It has been put onto D and D Beyond with, and like it's included in the character builder. Like it's pretty wild, right? So that's the only exception to what I just said. And that also says a lot because Dungeons and Dragons has an incredibly complicated relationship with that Matthew Mercer, right? So, and I think it's a complicated on Mercer's side too. Very interesting. So, but this was for real Z's Hasbro D and D Red Ampersand D and D, and it was metal tins containing class specific tokens. So every single class, right? Now, what's interesting is for a while, D Hasbro D and D has been creating spell decks, and that covered a lot of classes because so many classes can actually create spells. So you could you could buy spell decks physical product, right, that was not a D&D canon, and you could do it as a player, right, there's so, and, and boy, I'll tell you, D&D is such a horrible business model, right, it's a very bad business model, right, and the reason why is the vast majority of players don't know what they have permission to buy, right, and, and because they have to ask the DM for everything, right, and so, and that's not cool, like, if you're at a store and you're like, well, I don't know if I can buy this, because I'd have to ask my dungeon master, which really kind of sucks. And by the way, that's one of the reasons why I say, hey, if you buy something, bring it to the table. Like, you don't have to ask me. If you get something you're excited at and it has the red ampersand, buy it, bring it. You, it will go in this week, right, for my players. All right, so, um, but they've had, so you could buy spell decks for rangers, wizards, sorcerers, uh, rogues, like, the spell decks were a real product, and they, they've been around for a while. I don't think they get a ton of money from that, but they get some money from that. And it's the same here. I don't think there's a huge traffic in this um, in this class-specific right um, product. 
but I'm really excited that it's there. And I will say, the reason why we're talking about it right now is the OSR and the Indies really have nothing like this. They are light years behind Dungeons and Dragons, right? And, like, I'm, you know me, right? Like, I do a, a D&D video every day, right? Like, uh, you know, maybe there's an exception here and there. But, like, I, I have thousands of Dungeons and Dragons videos. I pay hyper close attention to Dungeons and Dragons. And there are new products showing up all the time that I don't, that I literally discover in the wild. I don't even, you know, there's so many products coming out for Dungeons and Dragons that no channel can even cover them all. It is astounding. I am extremely excited to see this product. Have any of you tried these? Have you, do you have them? Have you tried them? Have you seen them in the wild like I do? Uh, like, well, like I just did? I'd love to know your experience with these class specific for realsies, Hasbro D&D, Red Ampersand, official D&D product. I'd love to hear your experience. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.